But there's an agreement there, isn't there, that, that with forged, they forged your signature? Yes, your yes, they did forge our signatures. Um, yeah, on this loan documentation dated uh, December 2009, uh, there's a, a signature which is not mine, and there's a signature of my business partner, Mr. Bernson, and they spelt his name wrong. On his own signature. <laughs> it's just uh, so um, they've forged two signatures on that document. Yes. Which and that's to do with a loan agreement of how much? Uh, this was uh, for three odd million off the top of my head now. Undertaking my training, uh, one of the advisors had come back with certain of the documents unsigned, so the policy couldn't have proceeded. Um, the manager just took the documents off him and in front of the whole office basically said, well, this is one of the main things you'll need to learn to do this job properly. Walked over to a row of windows, it was an open plan office, so the whole office was watching. Put the documents up against the window, put the one that had been signed up against the window and traced the signature through onto the policy card so it could proceed. And I remember the, the actual manager of the office walking out, seeing him doing it and standing there grinning at him. Uh, I was quite shocked, uh, but it was surprising just how many people would undertake that to make sure they had the business and hit the targets and make sure they still got the sales to go through. And um, I've seen staff literally tracing a signature on the window, and it's a very simple process. What makes it even more sinister and, and bizarre is the fact that I gave the name of the signature forgery trainer who trained all the new entrants at Broadland Business Park how to forge signatures. I gave that to Mr. Andrew Bailey when he was the CEO of the FCA, now the Governor of the Bank of England, and he did nothing with it. The common joke within Broadland Business Park was all the best business was done at the photocopier. So what would happen is that if they needed you know, a case that's going to GRG and being destroyed, uh, assets being stolen, if a signature was required, it, it, what would happen is that the member of staff would take the ISV, the image signature verification screen, which is effectively the specimen signature of the client. They would then take that, they would then cut, cut it out, they would then stick it on the document that would need the signature on without the customer's knowledge. They would run it through the photocopier many, many times, changing the toner. They would put the photo, they would put it through the, sometimes even copy it through the fax machine at an angle to show that it's dated. You know, there was many, many tricks. The all-party parliamentary group on fair banking supports the campaign also. And the Treasury Select Committee wrote to Lynn Owens, the Director General of the National Crime Agency, asking her to investigate bank signature forgery and engage directly with the campaign. So since then, the campaign's provided Lynn Owens with over 360 crime reports and 19 files of evidence of banks forging signatures and fabricating and concealing evidence.